Yo, bro, Canada's fucking just full of spoiled piece of shits and their mothers and grandmothers, bro. It's just piece of shit after piece of shit, bro. Bunch of liars, bro. Just piece of shit, special ed fucking losers, bro. Little mama's girl and mommy's boys, and they want to talk down to me, bro. Like this piece of shit, just to show up. Bro, it's just loser after loser, bro. Like, you can't make this up. My grandma says your vehicle's a red flag. I'm not gonna buy it. The car was already sold. I told this piece of shit the car was sold. And this guy, like, messaging me. Like, I deleted the conversation. The car was sold, bro. And this nigga comes back with this bullshit. I'm like, the car was already sold. I told him from before. This isn't the first message. The, the convo was already deleted. Because the car's already sold. You know what I mean? It's sold, you dumbass. And the fuel lines need to be replaced. It's stated, but you're a bit slow, Bill. It's okay. I mean, the vehicle's a fire hazard. I pray for whoever bought it. <laughs> Everyone else understood the lines need to be replaced besides you, buddy. It cannot be driven like that, you special ed monkey. And you are a mean man. I demand an apology. You're taking it to the shop to replace the lines, you special ed monkey. You know what I'm saying? I demand, I demand you open your mouth so I can park my full out pipe for the night. <laughs> I helped him get in condom. King Jesus full of scam arms. So I had to do my due diligence and I caught you scamming with a dangerous vehicle. And he glad it all worked out. Happy New Year's. <laughs> your IQ level is a scam, Billy. Go take your boosters for your safety. Happy New Year, Billy. Tell Grandma I said hi. <laughs> in English, you felt great arm, lots of wine left. Drives like new, but needs new fuel lines and new brake pads. Think I have them. This means that you have them installed. But after I tried to buy the car, you changed your story and said it wasn't installed. And you were selling the car with leaking gas and selling to someone who'd have to find out and fix it. If you told me I could have bought that car to you for $500. 500 big ones. And then I lost the money. Nobody's selling it for 500. No, it means I have the fucking brake pad somewhere. What the fuck you talking about? There's nothing to find out. The gas, <laughs> there's nothing to find out. The gas lines are leaking. Car drives great even when the gas lines leaking everywhere, but they need to be replaced. It's like, I mean, it's a simple thing, but the car was already sold. Anyway, anyway it's 5K now. The car is broken unless you sell it to 500. It's not marketing. <laughs> You're stupid. The car is great. The $200 fuel lines are broken. You're just an idiot, buddy. Broken cars don't start and drive around, you silly idiot. Go have sex with your grandma, because I know you don't get any with your silly dipshit monkey. <laughs> well, you don't get any, you silly dipshit monkey. Why well, don't sell you this car for 100 grand just because you're an idiot and don't deserve it? Also, point in words like supercharged and compressor is all false advertising. Car is junk. Like, yeah, tell that to the Germans who put that on the engine after the adding a supercharger, you stupid, racist, redneck, piece of shit, monkey, loser that lives with his grandma. Where's your Mercedes, you piece of shit? How stupid are you, buddy? Do you know these cars come, do you know these cars come supercharged or they're supercharged, right? You stupid, piece of shit, illiterate monkey. Stupid hater, fuck your grandma, you bum. You know what I'm saying? This guy's like, running like, it's crazy. It's like, yo, yo, bro, these guys are clown. Name is Bill, bro. Bill and his grandmother. I don't have any point of sale system and also no Mercedes. That is why I'm trying to buy one, but yours is no good. So I refuse to betray. It will blow up due to leaking gasoline. Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs> but you didn't drive it. You don't drive it like that. Are you sick in the head? Legally, it's not even possible. I have to pass safety. Le it will never pass safety leaking gas, you sicko. The lines have to be replaced for it to pass safety for you to be able to get plates. So it has to be taken care of. And it's stated on the ad so the buyer, like the one that bought it, already knows. He even started and showed them exactly where it's leaking. Car starts every time it runs great. You're just a bit slow and I don't think you understand much about cars. It's not a trick when you're being told in advance what the issue is. Have a good day, buddy. Cars are already sold anyways. I'm just explaining you some simple things as you saw in the bit last bill. Please, please don't try to trick me into buying a broken car. And don't message me. I'm not interested in broken, dangerous Mercedes vehicle. 
It's sold from last week, idiot. Stranger danger scammer. Do not buy this broken machines, people. It's sold last week, you really retarded monk. Look, why's grandma to read your bedtime story and go to bed? You're, you're tired, bro. The, the morning you have your advertisement up. I might take it. <laughs> you take it down. You are misleading people. You are broken machine. No fucking grandmother, Billy girl. I have to keep it to make a video with your conversation to show the world that geniuses have to deal with over here. Living with grandma talking shit to me. If delete that, I lose the convo. Now back to grandma with your demands, you little piece of shit spoke kid. Why is the bro why is the broken machine still on the interweb? <laughs> on the interweb. <laughs> on the take down the fake ad. Was the real ad and it got sold? You're just a stupid piece of shit, Regent. Live with your grandma. Mad at the world, you took the self checkout shots like the rest of them. You don't, you don't give me orders, Billy girl. Close your fucking big mouth, Billy. Go suck some grandma titty. You wouldn't be making demands or barking orders in my face, little Billy. Just know that. You stupid piece of shit, little monkey. Going to keep the ad up just to piss your stupid monkey ass off, you little clown monkey. Now back to grandma so she can't tell you about the red flags and cars blowing up for sitting in them, you stupid little girl. Buddy, this guy said, Your car will blow up if you sit inside. If you sit inside the car, you're going to blow up. You know, I think, it, yeah, because I deleted that conversation. This guy came back. I told him the car was sold. And this guy comes back with fucking, with this crazy shit. But I swear, I swear this fucking guy, I guess it was in the previous conversation. And the guy's talking about, uh, it's a car will fucking blow up if you sit in it. You're like, yo, bro. My grandma's going to blow up if you sit in the car. Fuck, I guess, yeah, bro, because I deleted the conversation. This guy came back with this crazy shit, bro. But, yeah, when you delete it, bro, like, I saw the car, it was gone. You know, I fucking, I just changed the price. You know what I mean? After I sold it, it says sold in the fucking thing. These guys are just idiots. I don't know what to tell you. It says sold right here. Sold, you know what that means? It means sold, bro. It says it fucking rejects. That means, oh, you guys have a good deal. Look, let's see, I got some messages. Yeah, this guy sent it 50 more minutes ago. It says sold on the ad, bro. I don't know what to tell you. That means, oh, you guys have a good day, bro.